All right, we're back to the Sap Powers podcast, episode 20 something, can't remember. With good real life homie, bow rapper, Riz Relit, everybody. How's it going, man? What's up, guys? I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty good, man. Just fucking just hanging out, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Man, well, plug, all your, sh- plug all your shit right now. <laughs> Plug all your shit, bro. Fuck him. Where can uh, people find your shit they should follow? So uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all at Riz Relit. That's R-I-Z-R-E-L-I-T. It's all, it's all the same. Make it easier for you guys. You want to follow me, check out my music. Check me, check me shit talking some other battle rappers, shit like that. Follow me at all the platforms at Riz Relit. Yeah, and if you want to see any of his battles, Riz Relit, fucking, man, you battle in King of the Dot, Proving Grounds and shit, it's fucking crazy. Ground Zero. Yeah, so got, jealous, uh, bro. <laughs> Beast, Mode, Beast Mode's got a little stuff that in the works for me. I, I can't really talk about it, but uh, I got a big name coming, so. Sick, man. I love Beast Mode, dude. I miss going to all those events and shit. Oh yeah, Weezy, Weezy. When I when I went away or whatever, Weezy really looked out for me when I was gone. So, big ups to Weezy. Chris Kane, he's a fucking, he's the goat. Yeah, dude, Chris is fucking sick, man. Um, fucking, did you watch the uh the pod the Joe Rogan Elon Musk podcast? Uh, I really only watched where he was smoking the blood because that's what was circulating around the internet, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a while ago. That was the first one. He just did another one with him, like, a week ago or something. Okay, okay. Yeah, and it's, like, he's talking about, like, fucking Elon Musk is, like, inventing or, like, I don't know if it's already invented or whatever, but it's, like, a chip that goes into your skull, right? And it's fucking... Oh, fucking sign me up, bud. <laughs> you down? Fucking sign me up, dude. Sounds sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it can make can you like a superhuman, bro. What? <laughs> can I get mine diamond studded? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fire. On one big diamond. <laughs> that'd be sick, dude. That'd be crazy. But he—he <laughs> he seems different. A lot of people think that he already has one installed because he's just like—he sounds like a fucking robot. That guy, man. Well, it's probably the weed, dude. He smoke <laughs> yeah. weed every day. He goes on Rogan's podcast. This guy gets fried. No shit, he sounds like a fucking robot. That's true. That's a good point. I think you might be onto something there. <laughs> you know, he's probably going to install a fucking blunt roller in the Teslas. <laughs> yeah, man. Everyone's going to be smoking and driving. <laughs> man, so what's, what's he want to do with these chips? What are these chips going to do? So, like, one thing that they could apparently do is that, like, if you're, like, completely paraplegic or whatever... They just, like, fire the right, like, fucking uh, volts of electricity or whatever. I don't fucking know. I'm not smart. But uh, into, like, the parts of your brain, and then you can just fucking, like, you can walk and use all your shit again. So and well, someone like, if, takes a shower and fucking starts having a seizure because they fucking are electrocuted or something. <laughs> yeah. My biggest yeah. fear is, like, they could be, like, hacked or something, you know what I mean? And you could have, like, say, like, a even like a thousand people get these right and then then you some super smart hacker like figures out how to hack into them then they have like a thousand person army of slaves you know what i mean so now so now he's controlling me asking all of my woman friends for fucking bobs of the gene <laughs> bobs of a gene for sure <laughs> you know yeah that's what would happen you'd fucking <laughs> i'd go up to my wife and i'd be like hello wife bobs of a gene <laughs> and she do it because like look at me yeah, <laughs> she do, yeah. look at that face look at it look at this fucking mug <laughs> yeah buddy <laughs> damn you inspired me to work out i gotta start working out i'm looking like a big fat piece of shit <laughs> hey man there's nothing else to do in jail you know what i mean true true so uh yeah so i'm in jail i'm sitting there watching this coronavirus bullshit mm-hmm and then I get out, and I'm stuck in the fucking house, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's like the same shit. Except now you have to pay for your meals. <laughs> and you probably couldn't get it. Weed. I can smoke it. I can smoke now that I'm out because I got my medical license. 
dope. But in there, obviously, they're not gonna give me fucking weed to smoke because well, it's jail. Yeah, maybe one day, man. No <laughs> weed in jail. But it's like it's like a hundred bucks a joint in there. Holy shit, that's crazy, bro. I can never imagine spending a hundred bucks for one joint. But I guess like if you have enough money and you're desperate enough, maybe. people fucking do it, man. Yeah. People do it. People pay a hundred bucks a cigarette. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Damn. Fucking cigarette, dude. Fuck. Yo, so how, what's the uh, the explanation behind Riz Relit? I already know the answer, but for anybody watching. All right, so, like, it all started with Relit. And Relit is because my name's Tyler. Mm-hmm. And you spell Tyler backwards, and it's Relit. And I originally, I was spelling it with the Y and everything, and I was like, people were saying, like, Relight, <laughs> Relight, shit like that. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> like, fuck this. I'm just going to take out the Y, add the I in. And then the Riz came in because people people were calling me Rizzy Relit, you know? So one day I'm at school, and my name on Facebook at the time was Tyler Relit LeBro. I'm at school, and I keep getting added randomly by all these people. I'm like, fuck this. So I go home one day, and I change my name on Facebook to Riz Montana. <laughs> I fucking go to school the next day. Everyone's calling me Riz. I'm like, fuck. Really? <laughs> so I'm like thinking about it. I'm like Riz Relit. I'm saying it. I'm like that sounds kind of sick. Mm-hmm. Riz Relit. Riz Relit. I was like, that's what I'm gonna go by. I'm gonna add the Riz in front of it and make it like a make it like a government name almost. Yeah, I like it. It's a sick name, bro. It's like Sab Powers. You know, <laughs> my name you sounds know? real. A lot of people think it's like my real name, but it's not. You know, like, I most people most, most of my friends' fucking parents call me Riz. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? My teachers in school were calling me Riz, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just like most people don't know my real name. It's just how it is, right? Yeah, it's it's funny with rappers. Like most of their rap names like come from their original name, you know what I mean? Somehow, in some way. Or it's something yeah. like when they're, when they're growing up in the fucking, in their hood or whatever, somebody gave them a nickname and then they kind of ran with it, right? Right, exactly. They're like, my name's fucking... Pookie, cause my fucking great grandma's cousin's third sister called me that. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Yo, some shit like that. What do you think with the whole uh, six nine shit in his new video? Oh, Did you watch it? Oh my <laughs> god! So if you go click on my Facebook page, scroll down to two posts, cause I don't post too often. I don't really. Yeah. Like so if you go scroll down a little bit, you'll see. Uh, a screen recording of my phone. So it's of, it's of like nine friends sharing it. And all you see is me click, hide post. And then magically on the top of my screen, it just goes six, nine is live right now. So I click on it, click him, unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> and the caption, captions when I see people posting snitches on my live feed. Or on my yeah, YouTube. yeah. So, so you like fuck him? He's a snitch or whatever. Yeah. Straight up, bro. But his Straight like up. the people he snitched on, they all fucked him over, though. You know what I mean? They're all. I like, don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck, man. If you're, if I was in that situation, it's kill or be killed. I'm not gonna snitch on nobody. But wait, so if someone like fucking uh, say someone like this is like worst case scenario, they come and like kill your family or something, you wouldn't tell the cops who it was or anything. No, I'm killing them back. <laughs> <laughs> Word, bro. That gangster you know, like, life, fuck. son. <laughs> I just don't believe in them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, like, it's... I would never... You know, I don't know. I but, thought his career was done, bro, but he's got, like, over 100 million views in, like, three days. I was like, what the fuck? Bro, and, and this so new flex. generation supports <laughs> snitching, man. I don't think they necessarily support it. I think they just don't give a fuck, right? They're just like, we don't care. That's fucked up. I was yeah. gonna, especially this new generation, man. All these fucking suburbia, suburbia kids and everything are portraying themselves like they're fucking about the street life. And meanwhile, they fucking, they're out here selling weed. They get caught with fuck a couple grams. And they're telling them who Pablo is with the pounds. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, that's fucked up. Like, yeah, you definitely, like, fucking, I wouldn't tell anyone out like that. But, like, fucking, if someone, like, fucking did something really bad to me that I don't even know, like, I would fucking tell the cops. You know? I, mean, I don't consider that snitching. But if you, like, snitch on your homies or, like, your crew 
or someone that you bought drugs off that's like what i consider stitching you know what i mean yeah but like you're more you're 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 a regular person (laughs) yeah yeah it's not like it's not like you're you're in the street you know what i mean true good point good point it's there it's different man like Mm -hmm. I don't know. A lot of people have different opinions on that. In my opinion, if you're a citizen or whatever like that, you don't have those expectations. You know what I mean? Right, right. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's just my opinion on it. Right? Yeah, you're not, like, in the game, right? They call it being yeah. in the game, yeah. Exactly. And, like, you're not, you're not out here doing stupid shit to get fucked up. You know what I mean? Right, but so 6 9 was definitely portraying himself, at least, as being in the game, even if you... This guy, this guy... Yeah ordered a hit on the chief keith and shit so how are you gonna pay for somebody to kill other people but you're still the victim somehow that shit doesn't make sense to me yeah that's fucked up i didn't even know about that so like he probably did it on like some fucking live stream too because he's such a fucking wacko he said it you know he he admitted to it in in court oh shit people and he still got so, out. Fucking Joe Exotics in jail for that same shit. They didn't let him out. Daryl Bastard. <laughs> yeah. Daryl fucking Bastard. And that was more of a meme. I don't think he actually wanted to kill her. I think it was just trying to fucking. Yeah, I do. Her. I do. You do. <laughs> Maybe. I, bro, I think he was just joking about it. But I think if somebody was really serious and was like, "Yo, I'll do it for you," he'd be like, "Okay." Yeah, maybe <laughs> he was one of those. You know. Hmm. It was like he wasn't he wasn't gonna go out of his way to do it, but if the opportunity arose, right, he would get it done. Bro, he's, that guy's such a fucking idiot, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> that show is crazy, man. I just want them to make more wacky documentaries like that. They gotta See, find some well, other my, characters out there. <laughs> my problem is, is like I got a super bad fucking ADHD, man. And I get baked and I turn it on and I laugh for like a couple minutes and then I'm just on my phone. Oh, word, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I can't mm-hmm. watch shit, dude. Like, I've been trying to watch this explain shit on Netflix. And, like, it's pretty interesting, but I just get too fried to pay attention, man. Like, yeah, man, I definitely have, like, ADD or ADHD or something, too. I don't know. It's self-diagnosed, never, like, because I'm always, like, fuck doctors. But, uh, yeah, it's, like, I if I'm, like, if I have even, like, while Tiger doctors. King's going on, I'm, like, playing Hearthstone at the same time or, like, fucking playing poker or something. You know what I mean? I always have to be doing police. Some what? people say fuck the police and some people say fuck the doctors, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck the police too, man. <laughs> you know, uh fuck is so like, yeah, this corona shit. So what are you what do you what are you thinking about Doug Ford fucking trying to reopen some shit this week? I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't even really follow that shit. I didn't even know that was happening. So like fill me in. He's what's he want to reopen? I don't know, like, fucking garden stores, parks and shit. Yeah, why not? Honestly, like, I think, fuck it. Yeah, do it. What do you think? You think shit should stay closed? Man, I think, fucking, if we would have if we would have put everybody inside their fucking house when the first case popped up, mm-hmm. this shit would have already been done with. And kept our borders closed, this shit would have already been over and done with. Mm-hmm. But there's always, but, there, there is going to be, like, a second wave. There always is, right? And, uh... Okay, but, like, loosening restrictions. See, I don't know. There's so many different opinions on it, right? Like, mm-hmm. the one thing I, I, I read about was uh, herd immunity. So if so many people get sick and they can't, they can't get sick again, then it'll, like, block off the chain. So there'll be, like, people here, the chain of people who got sick that can't, and then people who aren't over on this side, right? Right, exactly. So then you almost need some people to get sick. Otherwise, but, like... At the same time, if everybody just heals up, gets over it, mm-hmm. and nobody from other countries comes here, not nobody will get sick. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, true. Yeah, you could just stop everyone. But, like, it's so hard to stop something like that, like, cold symptom kind of thing. It is weird. Like, usually I get, like, a cold every year, like, twice a year, and I'm, like, sick. Like, usually, like, in the spring and in the fall. And this year, because, like, the whole corona shit – I didn't even get, like, a regular cold, and it's kind of nice, because usually I'm sick as fuck for, like, a week or something this time of year, and well, I didn't even get a cough you're or not nothing. Out, so where the fuck yeah. are you going to catch the cold from? I almost want to do this, like, every year, just so I don't get regular colds either, or, like, the flu or whatever I was catching. Nah, you, you're fucking high if you think that, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a shit every fucking year, man. No, I'm I mean, just for, like, the season change, because I feel like my body is, like, fucking... Uh, 
during the season change, I'm like vulnerable. You know what I mean? I want to go see some females and shit, man. I don't want to sit. Down. <laughs> yeah. I want to go to the gym. You know, <laughs> like fuck. I want yeah, to get back buddy. to work. I want to. I want to go get a job and shit, right? Mm-hmm. It's just fucking. For it's sure. Boring, bro. bro. Like fuck, man. Yeah, PS4 is cool and shit, but like. You can only play Grand Theft Auto for so long and fucking Fortnite and whatever. You know what I mean? You can only watch so many battles. You can only fucking... And right now, I don't want to watch battles because when I watch battles, I want to go to an event or I look forward to an event. That's just not fucking... I don't even know when it's going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Like, no smoke breaks for it. Beast mode. I'm really looking forward to that, but I don't know when it's going to happen because of this fucking corona shit. Would you do one of these online battles? No, no, me neither. Yeah. I battle for the crowd, bro. I'm an entertainer. Fuck yeah, you I'm need that to... energy. And even exactly. just like getting in the other person's face even and shit is all I'm like a, part of it. I'm a performer. It. Yeah. I'm a performer, right? And if like, fuck, bro. If I'm just sitting in a room like spitting bars like this and trying to hit with the reaction. It ain't going to hit, bro. Ain't nobody going to feel that shit. They're going to be like, look at this corny ass looking fucking kid, dude. <laughs> That shit ain't gonna work. Yeah, true that, man. True that. Like, it's a crazy world right now, though. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a fucking. It's pretty. Like, what have you been doing to stay safe? What have you? What the fuck you been up to? So basically, I just started grinding on YouTube hard, bro. Cause like I've been so fucking bored, right? So like I had like four subscribers like a month ago, and I'm almost at four hundred now, which is pretty sick. Um, Shout out to Tom. What? Shout out to Tom. Yeah, Tom. It all started cause of fucking Tom, bro. You think you think Tom? You think Tom is uh the same Tom that made MySpace? No, it's definitely not. He keeps changing his name all the time. Last time I seen him, his name was Logan. I think he just changed it again. And, like, I'm pretty sure that he, like, scams small channels or something and fucking um, takes over their channels and turns them into bots. It's crazy because, like, I remember, like, looking at the one bot, and I used to have, like, this app on my YouTube where it's, like, compare stats against them, right? And he was, this bot was getting like 3,000 views or whatever around like every day. And then it dropped to nothing. So it's like they deleted all their fucking videos and then um, just became like a, a commenting uh, bot for this Logan guy or Tom or whatever, right? He's got like tons. It's so fucked, dude. YouTube's going to be like overrun with bots soon. And they're going to get smarter and start saying different shit because now they just say the same thing over and over again, right? Could you just imagine fucking them just like com- commenting on battles and shit? Like fucking so and so did very well in this battle. His third round showed that he was a seasoned vet. Yeah, and it's just some computer that fucking analyzed the thing, trying to get people to fucking. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy, bro. I think that's where it's headed, though, man. Like you'll never even like be able to know if you're talking to a real person. You'll have to like Facetime them like this or some shit, right? <laughs> dude that's what tinder is fucking bots on tinder oh it's, it's... bro you get on tinder dude you, sometimes you get fucking sent like ads and shit like mm-hmm. what the fuck is this i just tell girls right away now yo snapchat <laughs> you just say snapchat What's right away snapchat? i just tell them to go subscribe to my youtube I'm like yo you want to talk <laughs> to me go comment <laughs> on one of my videos <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I just, I use everything to promote my YouTube now, bro. Anytime I get like a friend request on Facebook for one of those bots, I'll just plast my videos all over their fucking wall. <laughs> See, I used to have fucking pictures of me battle rapping on Tinder, and then I thought about it, and I'm like, I look fucked up in these pictures. I look like I'm at a party and I'm just in the middle of the room screaming. I was like, I gotta take these shit off. Like, I yeah, look like I freaked yeah. out at a party twice a month. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, bow rap is definitely like a man's sport too. You know what I mean? I don't think women are that interested in bow rappers. <laughs> I brought host battle events. Yeah, like there are gems out there that like it. I have too. And then I even got told like, yo, stop bringing hoes to bow rap events. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> 
Well, like, dude, it's bad because, like, all the fucking testosterone flowing through that bitch, everybody's just trying to get on those shorties, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's crazy, dude. It's, like, oh, man, it, it's, like, 99% dudes at any battle rap event, and then there's, like, two chicks. <laughs> and everybody's always trashed by the end of the night. Dude. Yeah. Like, I'm always the worst, bro. Like, I'll fucking get super lit, right? Mm -hmm. I'm fucking just running around all night hammered, spending all kinds of money that I shouldn't be. Yeah, same. I was bad for that, man. I would spend so much money at the fucking bars and shit, no matter what. Even, like, comedy shows, I would always get drunk before I'd go do my set and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I gotta fucking come see you do the stuff, bro. Yeah, man, that'd be sick. I haven't done it in so long. I feel like when I start doing it again, I'm going to be all rusty and shit. It's going to be you weird. You had good reactions and shit when you were doing it? Yeah, bro. I got, like, a standing ovation one time. That was pretty crazy for, like, 200 people. That was probably, like, the highlight of my career. Um, I've been on TV. I was on Coach on Kojiko. I got my own episode on a TV show. Um, yeah, bro. I've, I've been doing it for, like, four years now, right? So it's, like, yeah. fucking... But I've also had some crazy, like, bad experiences. Like, most most experiences of comedy are usually pretty bad. It's like I've done so many shitty fucking uh, just shitty dive bars, right, where people, they're not expecting comedy and shit. Just, like, some bar owner thinks it's going to get people to come in, but then you're just, like, annoying the regulars, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Tell this guy to shut the fuck up and have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, when I was working at, because I, I was working at Joby's before I went in, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I guess if we brought a comedian in there, we everyone would probably try to play pool or get drunk with you. I don't think they would sit there and listen to you tell jokes. Yeah, exactly, and it's like if they're playing pool and you're hearing like the balls crack and stuff, you know what I mean? It's like you're trying to tell jokes, everyone's like, yeah, that's exactly what would happen in Joby's, I bet. Fuck, man, I used to go to Joby's all the time. That bar is so trash. <laughs> Bro, I loved working there. It was a sick job. What do you mean? No one would even come in, probably. How'd you make any tips? That's why I liked it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just sit there and I, do nothing. I can sit there and I play video games. That's fire, bro. You know? Get drunk. Mm. <laughs> like, it, it's pretty sick, bro. I'd invite my friends, fucking make the pool tables free, play pool. Oh, that's fire, bro. Damn. I wish I would have came and played pool with you. It's too yeah, late I, now. I used to just hop on the Snapchat, like, fuck it, come through the Joes. Weird, bro. Is there any uh, battles you've seen recently that you'd uh, you'd recommend? Like, what's the best battle that you've watched recently? Pathogenic versus Revelation was very good. What's that on, Beast Mode? That's on Beast Mode, man. Word, word. I don't know, I don't know either of those guys, man. I haven't been watching battles in so long. I, like, I got to get back into that. Their revelations a, a beast mode vet, but Pathogenic's a fairly new guy from out west, and they fucking yeah they did that. That was a sick battle, bro. Um, I don't know if you've been to any events recently, but uh, Sean Sirianni, the guy that used to do uh, fucking King of the Dots filming, now films for Beast Mode. Oh, sick! And he decided to step in and do uh, a one rounder with Boss Man and Cal Jackson. And he absolutely smokes these dudes. That's awesome. Anyone can the smoke Boss Man, though. <laughs> like, he was sick, bro. Shout out to Sean. That's my dog. But he That's was awesome. sick, bro. Like, I was so surprised when I watched it. So, like, yeah, if you want a little bit of a gem, you can watch that and the Pathogenic Draft Battle. Those are both very good battles. Obviously, I want to promote Beast Mode because that's mm -hmm. the fucking home league. Yeah, man, Beast Mode's awesome. Fucking, I've only done one battle for Beast Mode, and they spell my name wrong, but I still love them. I think I have the least viewed <laughs> battle on Beast Mode. <laughs> How they spell your name? Sabotage? They put, like, an O and an A. Because I usually spell it wrong, like, Sabotage. Yeah. They spelt it, instead of spelling it right, like, with the A, they put both. So it's, like, Sabotage is, like, how they spelled it. <laughs> Sabotage. <laughs> Yeah. Have you thought but, about, have you ever thought about doing it again? Yeah, man. And like, I even, like, I was supposed to uh, battle this one guy like a long time ago. And then there was like a, it sucks. Cause like, man, I should have just like pushed through, but there was like a crazy snowstorm, like blizzard and the battle was in London. So I didn't go. Right. 
But if I would have fucking went, I definitely would have won. And I would have got to about 100 bullets, and I would have got to about a bar tone too, right? So I have tons of bars from that that I haven't used. And I have this whole, like, crazy, like, 10-minute scheme. And I was trying so hard for someone to get me, like, let me do a one-rounder unlimited or, like, one-round 10 minutes because it only works as that one 10-minute scheme. So I'm I'm thinking I'm going to, like, film, like, a mock battle where I just use it because I think it's crazy. I don't want to give away too much on the podcast, but I could tell you after if you want to hear it. Like, I can maybe even spit it for you. Uh, fuck it. Why don't you try to do a one-rounder like somebody local for fucking Corona charity or some shit? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think, like, doing the mock battle is probably better just because, like, if I fuck this up, like, anywhere in that 10 minutes, it kind of ruins the whole thing. You know what I mean? But I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I feel you. And I've been like I've been like sitting on this for like six years, bro. I wrote it like six years ago, but I think it's just like so, uh, such a unique like weird thing. I don't know, bro. I could I talk I about something. You, I couldn't tell you one bar from six years ago, man. Really, fuck, man. I took like a bunch of my uh, rap songs and just made them into ukulele songs. People love them. <laughs> <laughs> whatever that's sick right like yeah if you're getting a good reception from it and obviously you enjoy doing it right yeah I mean, man yeah it was fucking i, I want to go sit down at a fucking restaurant and eat yeah dude i miss just like regular shit like that like we took so much shit for granted i just like miss like fucking going places in general i just sometimes just drive around because i'm sick of staring at screens and i'm like i'm just gonna take my car for a drive i saw you just bought a car that's pretty fire bro yeah but i fucking have to go get my g2 through drive test the drive test ain't open oh shit you don't even got your g2 yet eh fuck no i've been driving forever but i've never had my license so i was like fucking I was, I was gonna get my license before i left but i lost my wallet Damn, that sucks, bro. So I couldn't get my G2s, and now I'm out with Corona. So, mm-hmm. but I was like, "Fuck it, I'll buy the car because that is more motivation to get my license." That's a good point. Yeah, now you like have no excuse. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. All that shit will be like up and going soon. I think, like, like you said, Doug Ford is reopening shit already. So, I don't know, man. It's fucking. Like you said, though, it's going to be open for a couple of weeks and we're going to get smoked again. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, once we get hit with that second wave, it'll be interesting. Like, are they going to shut everything down again or are they just going to say, fuck it, let's keep going? Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's it a is, crazy it thing. Different. It's a crazy thing we're living through. Like, I wonder what else, what other kind of crazy shit is going to happen in our lifetimes, you know? Well, like, I don't know, man. I think the fucking world will probably end in our lifetime. You think so? Like fucking nukes or something? Crazy ass, crazy ass motherfucker dictators out here and shit. Mm-hmm. Fucking Napoleon complex with their finger on a big red button. Yeah, it's definitely possible. It's a fucking fear of mine, you know what I mean? It's like, fuck, man. Technology and shit's moving too fast. I think we should just like stop where we're at now you know i mean isn't shit good enough <laughs> let's just chill technology is gonna plateau soon i don't think so man i think it's gonna get fucking crazy dude you can only get you can only take such good pictures and fucking you can only get such good quality and like you know what i mean like 8k you're not gonna get really better than 8k fucking quality dude yeah, and I guess after that, it doesn't really matter because it's, like, so good. It's, like, even if it was better, would you really notice? But uh, but with other stuff, like, you know what I mean? We're going to have, like, like the Neuralink link thing and, like, fucking – we're going to have, like uh, – I, I could see them just, like, taking your brain and, like, putting it inside of a robot body or some shit. You know what I mean? No way, dude. Too many <laughs> rednecks in the States are going to be like, you can't take my brain, Friedel. No, I mean people that want to, you know what I mean? Like, say you're, like, a, an old man and you're dying and they're like, well, you can live, like, another thousand years inside this robot body if you want. You know, we'll just take your brain out, put it inside this robot body, and then you just chill. You know how overpopulated the world's going to be? So they'll just start fucking shipping people to Mars, bro. With fucking <laughs> billions and billions of robots walking around these bits? 
Yeah, dude, it'd be nuts. <laughs> Fuck, bro, the world would sink. <laughs> the world would like, sink into itself. Just a bunch of benders walking around drinking beers and shit, fucking yeah. farting their fucking carbon dioxide gas, whatever the fuck they fart. Yeah, that would suck if you're a robot and you couldn't get fucked up anymore. Like you drink beer and it does nothing and you're like stuck being sober all the time. Or like you just don't feel anything. Oh shit, yeah, and you're like trapped. You know, like you're you're just there. Like you can walk and everything, but like mm-hmm. like it doesn't hurt you like you can't feel pain, but you can't feel pleasure either, you know? Damn. I that in a way like that'd be kind of... <laughs> In a way, like it'd be kinda of interesting because like right now I feel like I'm almost like a slave to my needs, you know what I mean? It's like I sleep when I'm tired. I fucking eat when I'm hungry, drink when I'm thirsty, etc. And it'd be, like, cool to not need any of that stuff, you know what I mean? And just, like, really get deep down into, like, what it is to fucking exist. That would suck ass. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you know, like, all of animals' instincts derive around eating. I know, or, like, fucking, too, right? It's, like, reproducing and... Yeah, exactly. Water. So, really, if you take that out of our lives... But you know how bored we're going to be? Okay, well, I don't need money because I don't need to eat. I don't need to sleep, so I don't need a house. I don't need nothing. So, really, I'm here to fucking, what, exist? Do what, dude? What are you going to (laughs) do? I know, man. What's your purpose? What's your purpose? I don't know. You could create some fucking awesome ass shit. You could go to Mars and dig a hole. I don't fucking know, man. Oh, man, buddy. I wouldn't be doing none of that. I'd be a thousand years of just sitting on the fucking couch eating. And I don't even... The eating would be useless eating. A starving person can eat my food, but I'm still going to eat it anyways. Just because I want to eat it. Weird. And I'm a robot. Imagine they just launch you into space as punishment for something and then it's like you survive and you survive off the 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 sun or whatever sunlight uh keeps you going and you're just flowed through space for like a thousand years just bored as fuck (laughs) that would be sick buddy that sounds sick to you (laughs) yeah i'm way better than being on earth (laughs) earth with no motivation whatsoever i'd probably create 10 mixtapes quit rap yeah, yeah. What do you think can't of all this? In. Go ahead, go ahead. Can't talk to no bitches. Can't fucking make no money. And what are you going to do? Go adopt some kids that you can't pay for? I'd, just go, set fire to, I'd go set fire to a bunch of places. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> I'd be an anarchist. They'd be like, you got a thousand years to live. I'd be like, oh, lie. <laughs> so fucking 25 years the life's not even long like i can do that fucking three four times i'm still good i haven't even yeah, lost a bit of my life left <laughs> <laughs> fucking what do you think about like all this alien shit that's been happening recently all like the released photos and all that bullshit i believe they're fake it's just like a distraction like why would they release them like you know what i mean it seems very odd I don't know, but, like, I don't think, that, like, I don't know, man. Like, I think they have real pictures, but those aren't the real pictures. So you think that there are aliens that have visited Earth? Yeah. I don't think so. Bro, A lot bro, of people think so, but I don't think so. Explain this shit to me. Explain this shit to me, okay? <laughs> explain this shit to me the engine okay i took a small engine course dude mm-hmm. okay to take a part you know an engine that fucking has a carburetor it pushes fucking gas and oil into another part which fucking keeps going and ignites and it rotates causing things to move mm-hmm. okay who the fuck figured that out and how <laughs> how? so your explanation for that is aliens bro <laughs> It could just be some smart motherfucker. There's some smart motherfuckers out there. No, dude, dude, that's just one explanation, bro. Like, think <laughs> about like, think about like pinball machines. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did those get? You know everything, bro. Everything. Pinball machines. You're telling me electricity got made? 
because some dude flew a kite with a key on it in the sky. What was his business doing that in the first place? <laughs> I don't know. People do weird shit, bro. There's no reason to have a fucking key on a kite. He was trying to fucking see if it would work, and it worked. See if what would work? If he could get zapped. People knew about lightning. Bro, okay. <laughs> Why would you want to get zapped? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I remember learning about it in school a long time ago. <laughs> but, bro, you think That's aliens invented the there, pinball right? machine? <laughs> Not bro, not only that, but like think about like how we communicate. Bro, okay, this is my explanation. Ninety nine percent of people are idiots, right? But you get that one percent that's super smart and they invent that's stuff like and make sure it work that the uh, the rest of us just get to use. Dude, dude, there's no fucking <laughs> way in hell, bro. That this shit just spawned out of the internet. Who the fuck made the internet, bro? The how? internet is crazy. I still don't understand how it works, but like, <laughs> how HTML coding, all these kinds of coding. <laughs> how? How? How, dude? This shit just. Where the fuck did you think of this? Yeah, yeah. How many drugs were you on to come up with this? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think aliens, it's... motherfucker. <laughs> aliens. All right. Um, do you believe in ghosts? What, do you, what are your thoughts on ghosts, bro? Uh, I believe there's only ghosts that stay here because they're choked. So you think there are ghosts, though? They're just cheesed running around like, yo, I'm going to get you, motherfucker. You're just fucking <laughs> haunting people they don't like, dude. Damn. Or haunting places, like, you know, like, somebody will fucking die in a room or something, and they're just like, yo, this is my room, eh? Like, get the fuck out of here. I paid my rent this month, dog. <laughs> like. Fucking ghost freeloading off me, what the fuck, dick? But, I don't know, dude, like, it's kind of weird, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. what, what do you believe? Well, I think anything is possible, but I think it's more likely that ghosts don't exist. Even though so many people have experiences, at least paranormal, but it could be like different explanations, right? Uh, it could just be paranoia. <laughs> that's true. Paranoia of the paranormal. There's a rap bar somewhere in there, but <laughs> fucking like it could just be like a bunch of other shit. You know what I mean? Like I just believe that maybe there's shit out there we can't sense, right? Because like. There's, like, fucking radio waves and all this shit going through the air right now, even. We know for sure. But we just don't have the senses to pick up on that shit. Which kind of, like, fucks with me in a bit. Because I'm like, does that, like, affect your brain, like, subconsciously, maybe? You know what I mean? Like, or they could if they wanted to. I don't know. Could you imagine, like, just one day you just fucking wake up, like, I want to kill Trump. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Like There's just an yeah, army of people going after Trump because I know those are the only words you guys can say, man. And there's just like a fucking you just paint your house the Russian flag colors, and like you just go hard for Russia, bud. <laughs> that sounds like a porn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. <laughs> like that's crazy though, but like. Aliens, dude. Aliens, dude. <laughs> it's all aliens, bro. Like, mm-hmm. all of it's aliens, bro. None of this shit started happening until Harambe died. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> So funny, man. Uh, no, tell, me, tell me a lie. That fucking kid should have died. They should have left Rami alone. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I covered a song about it. It's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> the link will be posted right here. Yeah, I'll, I'll post the link. <laughs> and I'll make sure I post the link to your YouTube, too, if you got one. Do you have one? You have one, right? A YouTube Bro, I got a fucking. I got a YouTube with music on it from when I was 12. That's fire. I'm going to go listen to all your shit. No. (laughs) (laughs) I got that.
You don't want to hear that shit, man. <laughs> All right, they're unlisted or something. Put it on private if you don't want people watching it. Because I'm going to send people to your channel. Sometimes I just like to look at myself and just be like, you know, that was me. And now this is me. DJ Khaled shit, you know, like get better, be better, green apples, asparagus. Bro, I used to... Yellow (laughs) zucchini. Yellow zucchini. (laughs) Again, I used to think my battles were so sick, and then I went and rewatched them all recently, and it's like, bro, I was like stuttering over my words and shit way too much. It's like you need that clean delivery for it to be a great battle, you know? I've got like one or two, like I think against uh, Marcus B. Fuck, what's his rap name? Mac. Oh yeah, Big Mac or something. Oh, just Mac. Yeah, I think my Mac. battle against him, I performed good, and my battle against Patty P, I did good. And then everybody else, I'm just like stumbling over my words. I got some good bars, but it's like you had the worst prep ever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and you want to know what's fucked up about it? Is like because I hung out with you guys, and you guys were always bad for prepping. I'm now bad for prepping. Like I read my third round the day before, probably my last five battles. Fuck, eh? I could never memorize it. Like, that sucks, man. We fucking were a bad influence on you, bro. <laughs> but you're killing it now shit, more than though. all of us. Yeah. Fucking. I can remember my shit, though. Man, it, it's fucking sick that you got on King of the Dawn and shit. Like, damn, dude. Well, I'm hoping to get fucking, you know, main stage one day. I can never go to URL. I'd rather go to URL, to be honest. Because URL is fucking. There's just a lot more battlers that I, I'd want to battle there, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, obviously, I love King of the Dots, fucking Canada, you know, Canadian shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd love to battle there, but who knows, bro? Time will tell. Yeah, you might be able to somehow get, like, pardoned or something, right? No. Nah. <laughs> I'd get a pardon and travel waiver in, like, 12 years. 12 years? Fuck, damn. Buddy, I'm not. I, I I I swear to God, I better not be 36 battle rapping. Why, man? If you're making money off it, that'd be fire. There's how old's disaster? He's gotta be fucking like 40 by now. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know. Man. Eminem is like 60 almost, right? <laughs> He's like 50 or something. I don't know. But he's still spitting I, that I, fire. Are you still gonna rap when you're when you're older? You think? If, I don't know, man. Probably, yeah, because I like doing it, right? But, like, I'm not, I don't know, man. Like, I haven't even put out any music in, like, fucking three years or something. Mm-hmm. It's going to be weird when our generation is, like, all old men and we're all, like, freestyling and shit still. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine rapping about your fucking insure drinks and fucking the chip that's in your head that Elon Musk Yeah. yeah. Back in my day. There weren't cameras everywhere watching everything we do. You could jaywalk and not get in trouble. Can you imagine fucking... There is cameras everywhere watching everything you do, dude. That's what I'm saying. Everywhere. It's going to be like that. It's, like, it's There's not... cameras watching us right now. Well, yeah, that's kind of the point. <laughs> But there's, like, cameras in the forest and shit. Like, I could go, like, take a shit in the woods and it's not going to end up on YouTube or anything. I hope. <laughs> you don't know that. Hey, man, we live we live in a border city, right? Mm-hmm. You go in the woods, there might be cameras there because you might be near the border and they might see you shit and they might want to post that on YouTube. True. Under, the, under a YouTube channel named Niagara Shits. Man, I'm I'm really, like, so happy in a way, like, when I was born because, like, I did some stupid-ass shit when I was a kid, bro. And fucking, I could be, like, one of those stupid viral videos and, like, have something super embarrassing up there. But luckily, like, phone cameras and shit wasn't a thing back then, you know? <laughs> See, my first phone that had a camera, I think I was fucking, like, 11 or something. Oh, well, shit, yeah, you're a bit younger than me, so you got, like, just on the cusp. And there was a Razor, the Mo- Motorola Razor. Yeah, I remember that thing. That thing was, like, the coolest shit when well, it came buddy, out. Buddy, the fucking camera quality on um, any BlackBerry, any phone that was from back then, dude, is, like, 8-bit. That's crazy. It's like you're playing, it's like you're playing NES. 
Yeah. <laughs> you might as well just fucking screenshot a fucking picture of your NES game and just show them that because you know what? Mario, you know, like trying to film fights back then. Do you remember seeing fights on cameras back then? Yeah, it was crazy, bro. There's still some and of that shit fucking, on you. You might as well just show them Mario jumping on a Goomba and tell them that's mm-hmm. a fight. They still fucking believe it. Like, that's how bad the quality is. Man, there's some crazy fights on YouTube. I, like, every once in a while, I'll just watch, like, a shitload of fights. Like, street fights on YouTube. <laughs> you're fucking... You're sadistic. <laughs> Bro, it's, it's Is that sadistic? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. I don't know. You see that I one where that mean, girl smashes another girl over the head with a shovel? That one's intense. That one's funny as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I told you to get. I told you leave me alone, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she's like running off. I remember when the fight starts, dude. She has her fucking fist up like bubbles. <laughs> yeah. From Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, dude. She was yeah. bro. Don't let Green Bastard hit you with one of those. It's, you're fucking <laughs> done for the night, buddy. So have you have you been gaming? Oh, uh, well, fucking, my internet's too shit out here, so I can't really game. Like, it'd be, like, it's too laggy. It sucks. So, what the fuck do you do? I started a fucking YouTube channel. <laughs> you just play ukulele on the road and shit? Yeah, bro, I fucking post a video every day, sometimes two a day. If there's anybody under fucking 19 watching this, don't smoke cigarettes. Yeah, I got, I got a fucking TikTok I did about not starting to smoke cigarettes. About mostly, me, uh, mostly because uh, kids vape nowadays, so they'll think you're retarded. So vape. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you make me want a cigarette. I wish I could smoke it here. I, I promise my buddy like Joel I would try to quit. No, I can't smoke I should have Yeah. That's a pretty dumb move on my part. <laughs> it's all good. But, I mean, I don't smoke a lot of cigarettes. I smoke, like, three, four cigarettes a day. Usually after I fucking smoke weed. Yeah, that's not so bad. You know, like, How did you start smoking? What? How did I start smoking? Yeah. I remember I was, like, I remember, the, like, you want to hear, like, the first time or how I actually started. Both. Let's hear both. Fuck it. Okay, so, <laughs> so the first time I was at a skate park was like, I don't know, they're like my cousins or like family friends or something. But I remember I was like seven years old, man, and they fucking made me smoke a cigarette with them. And I fucking, I remember, I don't know, man, we were young. We were in like grade five or some grade six. We'd ride our bikes, dude. And at first we just started smoking paper. You'd roll up, like, a paper and just smoke it? Yeah. That's hilarious, bro. I never did but, that. Like, <laughs> actually, actually, before that, when, when I was still, like, seven, I remember I hung out with this kid. His name is Jamie. This kid smoked cigarettes, too. He was my, he, well, he, he smoked them, like, daily. Like, this kid was my age. Mm-hmm. And I went to my neighbor's house. Went to my neighbor's house. I hung out there, played video games and shit. We smoked cigarettes in there. And I remember we beat up this one kid. And I put a fucking uh, cigarette butt in my mouth, and I was like, this is how you smoke a cigarette. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> so, then, so then we moved from there. I didn't do it anymore. And then eventually I started hanging out with like, a new group of friends or whatever. We're riding our bikes in the forest, hitting jumps and shit like little kids do. And uh, we started smoking paper. So... Uh, yeah, I remember we smoked paper and drank beef broth to make the fucking paper smell get off of our breaths. And then eventually, like, uh, this kid stole a pack of smokes from his brother or whatever. And I remember just, like, laying, like, behind convenience stores smoking darts. I remember smoking two at a time. I remember fucking... <laughs> two at a time, bro? <laughs> like, fuck, that's hilarious. Like, it's like that guy from time. Hackers? <laughs> I was like 11 or 12 I was smoking like two at a time and like I smoked so weed and shit too right mm-hmm. I remember my first time I smoked weed I was 10 and it's cause I had a fucking four foot bong and I'm running up the street with this. I took this four foot bong from this kid and I'm running up the street with it and I bring it to the forest to my friends and they're like well you stole the bong you might as well smoke it so I'm like okay so I smoked it mm-hmm. and I got baked so 
safe to say that's how it is. Yeah. So it's been a bit of routine since. That's a great story, man. It sucks you started smoking, but it made for a good story. <laughs> you want to know how I started? What? So I didn't actually really start smoking until fucking like grade 12. Me and Mikey V were uh, in like this weird program where we got to go to college like a year early, take two courses. Fucking, college link. Yeah, maybe something like that. I don't know. But uh, fucking my buddy Brian Smith would just go and fucking bomb smokes off people. And then he would just like, and I was like, what? You could just get, like, get cigarettes for free? Everyone just gives them away for free? So that's how I started smoking. I was like bobbing smokes on people for like years, bro. <laughs> Anytime at the bar, like the smoke pit, I'd just be like, hey, can I have a smoke? And like 90% of the time, the people say yes, right? Smokers are so generous. <laughs> for cigarettes for some reason. And then um, I started. Buddy, you didn't, go to, you didn't go to a ghetto school then because there is kids that would fight you over a couple of cigarettes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't start smoking until after high school. I was smoking weed like since I was fifteen, like smoking hard, like almost every day, yeah. probably, right? But yeah, but I never really got into cigarettes until late. And I actually started vaping before I started smoking really. Which is fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's, what? I just like when vaping vaping came out, I like, thought they were so cool. You started vaping, you're like, just like, fuck this. I'm just going to be an adult and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, exactly. Do cocaine like an adult. Fuck smoking weed. Kid, <laughs> don't do drugs. No, don't do drugs. Stay in school like we did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe you can be on an inter- internet podcast one day. Maybe. Anyone can start a podcast, bro. It's the best thing. Joe Rogan tells everybody to start their own podcast. I don't know how that would work, but... I remember, kids, there's no such thing as chicks with dicks, only dudes with tits. Damn. Words to live by right there. (laughs) (laughs) Especially nowadays, man. You never know when fucking, you know, if she says, like, she's got one, you better believe it. Yeah, when a girl's like, suck my dick, now it's like, it's not joking. It's like, really? (laughs) You're one of them? You're one of them. All right, let's not get any more into that. I don't want to trigger anybody. <laughs> I got lots of diverse bro, fans, views, bro. <laughs> yeah, I guess any publicity is good publicity, right? Yeah, they'll just call us fucking middle-aged white monsters. And we'll be the most hated group of people in the world for a, for a fucking day. Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm so desperate for that clout. I was even considering uh, start sending dick pics to chicks, you know? Then they'll Just share my profile with all their friends. <laughs> no. It's probably no, not the best way to get clout, but they might warn the world about me and then uh, get some clicks on my videos. Yeah, that's how you'll end up on a fucking episode of Creep Catchers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never sent a dick pic, actually. Maybe one day a woman will ask for a dick pic from the Sab Powers. So, how do we fucking right. get into this? Let's talk about something else. <laughs> No, no, now that we're on that subject, let's go ahead. I, I got a story for you. So this one time, I'm talking to my ex-girlfriend. I send her a dick pic. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to go into details of what happened with her, but I get a message from her, from her boyfriend that I had no idea about. <laughs> this guy's going off, whatever. And I click, I click on her profile, yo, and her profile picture is my dick. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's hilarious. Fuck. <laughs> that was worth staying on the subject, eh? Yeah, for sure, man. Alright, that I think no we should just end it on that, bro. That's a great ending. <laughs> you know? Man, thanks so much for doing this. Fucking it was good shit, bro. Yeah, bro, maybe we can play fucking, you can, next time you do chess or whatever, invite me on and I'll talk shit to everybody and roast them. Yeah, I'd be down for that for sure. But like David's like, he's a big shot now. He got, he blew up on TikTok. He's got like over a million views on uh, one of his TikTok videos. And now, now he's too famous to play chess with me in podcasts. That's why I started this one. Too good for the homies, eh? Yeah, no, I'm just fucking around. He'll, he'll still do uh, some episodes. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely have you on. That'd be sick, bro. 
All right, bro. Well, don't do drugs, kid. Oh, Damn, yeah. Bro. Everything said in this fucking video is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> None of it's true. <laughs> yeah, well, some of it might be true. At least some of the shit I said is. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, peace out, brother. You're the man. Peace, Woo. bro.